Hi everyone and welcome to this week's three minute pause. On this day, a day of reflection, as we look back on two years of pandemic life, the second anniversary of that announcement of lockdown, that announcement that we thought uh, would begin a very short season of restrictions and yet two years on, things still haven't gone away, have they? So as I looked back over our lockdown life, I was reviewing the poetry that I wrote throughout lockdown. And I want to read this poem to you, reflecting on our life at the time when we just heard an announcement of another three weeks coming our way. So another three weeks of lockdown are here. I have to admit I've shed many a tear. The intensity of lockdown as a family of four is causing fractions and tensions like never before. We on the sofa and some poo for good measure have stretched us and pushed us to the end of our tether. There is no time of silence, no rest or break. At the end of each day, back and forth, we both shake. Yet in the midst of it all, there have been moments of joy, plenty of cuddles and surprise from each boy. They are growing so fast, too fast, you might say, and considering our struggle, they're doing okay. So as much as it's tough in these strangest of times, try your hardest to cherish and look for the signs of grace, hope and love that will make themselves known. Give thanks for what you can, your family and home. I don't believe that God orchestrated this mess. He loves us too much to cause this level of stress. Yet in his great mercy, he restores and redeems. So we'll trust in his goodness that flows in great streams. Keep going, be strong and courageous and know you are loved, you are cherished, go with the flow. It's funny now looking back that that poem I could have wrote about today, about the last week, and yet the only difference there is we're now a family of five, not a family of four. That intensity has only increased in our lives. But it's funny looking back now how I wish I'd have cherished the moments of lockdown life a bit more. I crave the simplicity of life lived just at home, just us as a family locked in. I crave less of the busyness of life as it is now. There's a lesson there, isn't there, as we look back and remember to give thanks and to honour each day and each season that we find ourselves in. To every day find something to be thankful for, to every day find something to rejoice in, to every day find something to cherish. When Jesus gave us the bread and the wine and the Last Supper, he said, do this in remembrance of me. He wants us to look back and to remember all that he has done and to give thanks for the grace that it has afforded us now in this day today. So as we look back and remember, let us honour the loss, let us honour the pain and the struggle of the season we are in. But let's also give thanks and give praise to God for his sustaining grace to us all. Amen.